Yo, in this video, I got some good news. TikTok is threatening to sue Trump for trying to put this executive order on TikTok for 45 days. You know what's crazy about the whole thing? Trump expects a cut from this. He expects a cut in the U.S. Treasury to get a cut. Um, just because you're president doesn't mean the government has to get a big cut in every deal. It's something between, supposedly it was supposed to be between Microsoft and TikTok, and Trump wanted the cut. And you know what's crazy about the whole thing is their excuse for the executive order is based on stuff about the Chinese government. That's not based on ByteDance as a company. That's based on the Chinese government. Also, every social media app collects information about you. And let me say this. On TikTok, when, you're, when you watch videos on the For You page, right, it collects what you watch so it can forward more videos like that. Whatever you watch the whole video of. It gives you more of that, so you get what you wanted to watch. That means even if you are not logged in a TikTok account, you can still, like, even if you just go on just to watch videos, you can, you, you watch what you like and it forwards you more of that. So you could say, oh, they're taking their information. No, they take less than Google and they take less than Facebook, so just don't feed me that. And also, TikTok changes people's lives it makes people that would never have a platform able to become stars and it's amazing people that don't have tons of money to invest in social media people that don't have a rich upbringing they still have a chance at the fame they still have a chance but you might say oh 50 can tiktok isn't a lot it's a lot more than most people have on instagram That don't get famous on TikTok. Obviously, when they get famous on TikTok, their followers multiply. But here's the thing. TikTok wants to sue Trump now because the executive order was just going off of Chinese government stuff and conspiracy theories about the, the company TikTok. Because every company takes information about you. There's a terms of service when you sign up. You know, TikTok doesn't sell your information. I already read the terms. Okay, they don't they don't sell your information. But basically Trump is trying to pose it as a security threat. No, the real reason he wants a ban is because he knows TikTok can change how people view him. But so can Twitter and so can Facebook. So what's the difference? TikTok's just more about trends, so if something's trending, you'll be more likely to see it. Because it's unlike Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. TikTok gives you the good stuff, like the stuff that people, like the average person posts and the what the average person posts basically on Instagram and Facebook and Google, you won't see the average person. You only see those rich celebrities. TikTok gives anyone the chance to change their life for the better and become a star. And the fact that TikTok is suing Trump, good for them, good for them. Don't blame what's going on in China on TikTok. There's a reason why there's TikTok and Douyin. Because TikTok, the company, they don't even have it in Hong Kong, China anymore. They don't even have the app on the App Store. Actually, not in the App Store. They have it completely banned in Hong Kong, China now. That's probably why they made separate apps. Because Douyin has to, they must obey Chinese censorships. But I feel like TikTok... Isn't going to be like that in the future. And Trump shouldn't do this because the majority of people on TikTok, besides India, are Americans. We are we are a big majority of the app. So if, if TikTok wants to sue the Trump administration, they should because Trump always thinks, oh, I got to do this. He thinks there's never any re repercussions to his consequences. Just like when he bought too many apart, when he, when he invested too much money and he had people from his company telling him that was a very bad idea because he was investing way too much. He was going too crazy. He's doing the same thing now, like Obama said. Not focusing on the problems that matter. Like, he's worrying about what happened to Biggie and Tupac. Like, come on. They were obviously shot by rival gang members. Like, it even said it, so... They, it wasn't a get, it wasn't a government conspiracy. That not everything is a government conspiracy. And what I also want to say is Obama was right because instead of Donald Trump focusing on how to 
make people better from the coronavirus long term so we can actually go back to schools safely. He worries about banning a, a Netflix series about immigration, which tells you the truth about what immigrants experience, and he tries to ban a social media app. I, I don't understand this, man. I, I, I don't. He tries to ban the most popular social media app in America, and he tries to ban a messaging. I mean, I, I think WeChat's complicated because I tried it one time, and you had to have like a barcode or something because you have to, you have to chat. You have to go through a procedure to be able to even use the app. But like TikTok, come on. I mean, I don't even know if WeChat, I don't know about that one, but I do know that TikTok should not be banned. I think WeChat, you have to have the approval or whatever to be able to use like the, the app or whatever from someone or, so you, I guess you have to have two people already planning on having a conversation, but I'm glad that TikTok's suing Trump, and I hope they win, and I hope they can keep their app in the United States no matter what, because TikTok overall is a good app. Can the app fix a few technical issues? Sure, but it's better than Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google, so those other apps don't give the average person a chance. It's like one in a million that they even have a chance at the spotlight on the other apps. So please give this video a thumbs up, please comment down below what you thought, share the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos, and pay me the money on Cameo, and thanks for watching.